We wanted to take a deeper dive into one of the newer features of people tools called drilling URLs. Drilling URLs allow you to basically hyperlink back to a specific PeopleSoft page. In essence, we now have the ability to, from query, to drill back into the details. So let's show you what I mean. So in this scenario, we have top five overdue work orders. And you'll see that each of these work orders is hyperlinked. If we click on that hyperlink, it will actually take us right to that specific work order page. Okay? So essentially what we've done is created the query. And again, here's the query behind the embeddable pagelet and the hyperlinks to each of these individual work orders. Okay? So that's actually a pretty powerful feature, not just for the home page, but also for related content to allow you to drill down, navigate, move throughout the application. So let's show you how to actually create in drilling URLs. So let's go to our query manager. Okay? We're going to create a new query. And we're just going to do this blog test. And today is the 23rd, so we'll just call it test 23. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Record name. Uh, we're going to do work order management, work order. Do a search. And we'll use our work order header table. Okay. And we're going to do business unit, work order ID. We'll look at our shop. Maybe the uh, uh, required start date. And we'll look at what our estimated labor costs and estimated purchase order costs will be. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Now I'll save it as blog test 23. Okay. And I'm just going to make this a public query and click save or OK. OK. Now I want to just run it. And you'll see that it typically just runs with the information that we selected. Okay. Now in order to create a drilling URL, we have to actually create an expression. So we'll click on our expression temp. We'll go to add expression. Okay. Under the expression type, we're going to choose drilling URL. Okay. Now we have the option of query URLs, external attachments, and components. Components will allow us to drive to specific pages. So we're going to click on component URL. Okay. The menu name. So we have to select a specific menu name. So in this, we are going to select, we'll type in manage. Okay. And here, we're going to go down to manage. Oops. Go down to manage work orders. Okay. Our market, we want to use global. Okay. So global is our option. Component. Okay. So now which can PeopleSoft component do we want to drill back down to? In this case, we're going to use the work management work order. And now we want to know which page. So we're going to select the work management work order header. Now at this point, we need to map our columns. So we'll click on map columns. So here, what we're basically choosing are what are the columns that we will drill back down from. And the search keys are what are the columns that will allow us to drill back from. So I'm going to choose business unit. You see business unit is populated. Then I'm going to select my work order ID. My work order ID is populated. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. Right. I'm going to click OK again on my drilling URL. So now you'll see that we've created this expression. And it starts out with C, which means component. So now I'm going to click Run. 
And you'll see that now we actually have created a query where we have hyperlink capabilities. So if I click on the work order one, it will bring up the work order page from the query. If we go back, if we click on the business unit, it will still take us right back to that same work order ID. So you have the option to drill from the business unit or the work order ID. It's easy to shut that off. You can just limit it to one um, if you'd like. So these queries can be used as normal queries with related content. You can embed these queries into PeopleSoft transaction pages. You can also create them for your home page as we've done here. So here you'd obviously have a dashboard where you can drill down to the details. So quick example, drilling URLs, very cool, very valuable, and um, pretty straightforward. So I hope you've uh, learned a little bit more today.